Welcome to my channel, beautiful people. Today I'm going to show you how I make waist beads. This is what we're working with today. We got the beads and I have more beads. I have string and I have one more string that I like to use. I'll show you this one and I have my scissors. So that's all I have and let's get started. Hi beautiful people. So right now all I'm doing is measuring. If you're doing this for a customer, you definitely want to make sure you have the measurements, right? You want to measure it before you load the beads, and you want to measure it before you tie it also. Um, if you're doing it for yourself, you can pretty much eyeball it, but definitely make sure if you're doing it for somebody, a paying customer, you will measure it. And I got this measuring tape at Amazon. So now what I'm doing now, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and thread the beads. And I know some people do like to use a needle, but I don't have one at the time. So all I'm doing is just threading and it does take patience. It takes patience. Um, it's going to seem like you're doing it forever and not getting anywhere. Just, just stay patient and just continue to do it. Just stay patient. So what I do is I thread and then I... I kind of catch the bead in my hand so at some point I'll release all the beads that are in my hand So if you're doing this for business, a good price to sell your beads, I would suggest $10 per bead, per set, not per set, per individual bead. Most people wear three, three beads, three sets of beads, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to say it. Most people wear three sets of beads, so you could also do a deal like three for 25. Now some people charge by the color, some people charge by the charm. Mine specifically, I'm going to charge $10 for for one set of beads. And if you want three, then you can get three for $25. i am not going to charge for the extra charm currently. And I'm not going to charge for double color or more than one color. So yes, you're going to keep going. You're going to continue to just load your beads. And you'll notice you'll get faster and faster. So just continue to load your beads. Take your time. Some bees will be broken and some bees will be, they won't have a hole in them. So you'll just move around those, make sure you throw those away and you just continue to thread. As you can see, I have gotten, uh, I got kind of, I would say it got kind of far. You can't really tell on camera, but I've gotten a little far. So I'm just going to continue to thread. And um, at some point, you'll measure and you'll see how much you've gotten. And actually, I'm not as far as I thought. So I'm going to just continue to bead, 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 bead. And it's best for you to do this on top of something. Because if you drop a bead, you'll see where it goes. And it won't roll around everywhere if you do it on something like a blanket and you can find these beads at Hobby Lobby you can find the string at Hobby Lobby you can also find the case at Hobby Lobby or at the Dollar Tree
Okay, so I'm back. And this is what I have. And I'm about to tie it. Just take your time. You don't want to spill no beads. You don't want to overlap it by tying it to tight. So I loop it once and then I go back and do it twice before I tighten it up because uh, I haven't worked with this type of string in a minute because it's hard to find right now. So then you're going to go and you're going to pull it and you're going to keep pulling it basically. Oh, you got to be careful with this type of string because it will start like Oh Lord, no, 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 okay, see, you really gotta be careful with this type of string, honestly, I don't even think I got that on camera, but I'm trying to tighten this string up without messing it up, and I don't think I'm doing that right, but let's see, let me just slide some beads, okay, it's, it did it, it did it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie it two to three more times. And um one, two. I love this string. It is so discreet when you cut it compared to the other string that I've been using. But this is hard to find, like I said, and I'm gonna do it one more time. And my waist beads that I have on, I had it on for like four months now. I don't take it off, not even to shower. Okay, and the string is intact and it's perfect, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna cut it. So, I mean, this is what it looks like, but you barely gonna see it, honestly. So we're gonna close this for now. And I'm gonna show you the bees up close. And here you have, there you have it. So, you can't really find where it's, it's tied at, honestly. It's somewhere in there. Is it there? But yes, um, I think this would probably go down under my stomach because it's just really big. But I made this specifically for somebody who you know, it's big, not really big, but just 50 inches because their stomach is 50 inches because every woman deserves to be wasted. Okay. So check out weloveessentials.com and you can get your own waist beads or you can use this video to help you make your own. Peace.